Horror Lies. Hey, what's up, buddy bags? Um, Andrew back here again, and um, I'm back here in uh, Pennsylvania, so that's why my the room looks completely different because um, I'm in a completely different state and everything. So, um, so yeah, this this um, Sunday is uh, Christmas, so I figured. Ah, eh, what the hell, I'll, you know, do a Christmas movie. So, um, I looked and I saw uh, one of my favorites Christmas horror films have not been taken, so I decided to do Silent Night. Uh, see, this is a 2012 slasher film uh, directed by Stephen C. Miller, and basically the plot is pretty simple. Um, it's, it's basically a Santa Claus is killing people in this small town, and it's pretty much all everybody who's who's naughty. So it's you know it's the same old slasher you know movie um, with that in regards to that. But it's also um, the main character who is a police officer uh, played by Jamie King is uh, pretty much hunting him down with the sheriff of the town, known in the horror community, Malcolm McDowell. Um, and it's pretty much those two are, you know, on a police chase trying to find out who the killer is, who the identity is. So it's 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 definitely like a, you know, a murder mystery type movie too. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on this one is I I okay. So my history with this movie is the first time I watched this movie was on Miramax with my brother. And I think it was like 2013 or 2014. It was right around Christmas time. We were like, "Oh, it's around Christmas. What the hell?" You know, you know. Um, and we we uh, we we were we were like, "Yeah, well, might as well. It's probably not going to be that good." But actually, we were floored by it. I mean, it was really good. I liked the I liked the story. I liked the characters. I liked the kills. It was all around everything you'd want in a slasher movie. It's got a lot of fun, clever dialogue with a lot of fun. Um, fun jokes. I mean, Michael M Malcolm McDowell in this movie is just hilarious. Um, got some likable characters. Jamie King's likable in this movie. Um, and uh, Malcolm McDowell, as big of a douche as he is, is really funny and likable as well. Um, even the side characters, some of the like um, the the lady who's kind of the takes the calls in the police station. She is also really really. Um, like just enjoyable of a character, um, a lot of the a lot of the like the people like the the priest. Oh my god, the priest in this movie is hilarious. In the scene, his uh, the the scene in the church is just oh you'll know the scene where he's preaching in the church is just hilarious. I laugh I laugh I laugh my ass off every time I watch it. Um, the kills in this movie are pretty brutal and pretty. Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty solid. Um, one involving a wood chipper, which is pretty brutal. It's it's it's. I was like, damn, that's that's pretty. That was pretty intense. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's pretty much everything you'd want in a uh, uh, a horror movie in a slasher flick. So if you're into slasher flicks, which I'm saying, I'm assuming most of you probably are, um, can't really go wrong with this movie. Um, I, I honestly say this is like a must watch during Christmas season. It's 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 got a really good Halloween or Halloween. I keep saying Halloween Christmas feel, um, and it's got that you know it's got a um, the only thing that that doesn't have a Christmas feel, um, and I do take points off for this is there's no snow at all. You can tell it was kind of filmed in the summertime, but everything else you know there's like. Um, Christmas lights, there's Christmas decorations, everything revolves around Christmas, um, except that there's no snow, and you can tell it was filmed in the summer. Like, that is the only thing, and I do dock points for that. Um, but yeah, if I were to give this a rating, I give it a rating of an 8 out of 10. Um, really, really solid flick. I really enjoy this movie. Um, it's kind of a remake and name only of Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, you know, but it only has like two scenes that kind of are reminiscent of that. Other than that, it's kind of its own thing. So, I mean, really, it's you can kind of view it as its own kind of separate entity and not really compared to the original one anyway. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this movie. I highly recommend it. If you haven't checked it out, do so. Um, you can find it pretty cheap on Amazon or whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's it. 
Um, yeah, that's my review for this week. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. And uh, peace. See you next week.